It is 649 on your Thursday morning. It is time now for the morning rush. Two of the AFR firefighters accused of rape have been fired. Angel Portillo and Aiden Heyman were fired after the department wrapped up their investigation. The third firefighter accused, Anthony Martin, retired from AFR when those allegations first arose. All three are currently out of jail with GPS monitors awaiting trial. An Arizona man charged in an Albuquerque murder will await his trial in Phoenix. Adrian Causey is accused of killing Toby Stanfill and Daryl Young back in 2017. Causey was originally charged for the murder in 2017, but those charges were dropped after the investigation stalled. Charges were refiled last month. A man is in custody this morning after police say he called APD, claiming to have made several explosive devices and was leaving them around town. APD says the man told them the devices were near Vermont Street and Central, but that he was on his way to Walmart on Eubank near I-40. APD was able to locate the man at Walmart with a bag that was determined to be safe. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It's not too chilly compared to yesterday. Temperatures are in the low 60s, and so you shouldn't need as many layers. And this afternoon, we'll see low 80s, a warm afternoon with a couple of hit or miss storms possible during the mid to late afternoon. As the teacher shortage continues to impact New Mexico schools, local educators are coming together to share their ideas to combat the problem. The Golden Apple Foundation is offering scholarships to help aspiring educators get through college. We have a link to the application at alwaysonkrqe.com. The state's largest school district is getting rid of snow days. The new policy is part of the district's new asynchronous learning plan intended to keep kids learning even outside of the classroom. APS says students who don't have internet connected devices will be given extra time to finish their assignments. The Rio Grande is drying up around the metro for the second year in a row. Officials say the closure of Elvado Dam is the largest cause of the lack of water in the Rio. The dam just south of Chama closed for repairs and won't reopen for another couple of years. The Conservancy District says they hope to store water in a different dam like Abiquiu. Erica. Here's a look at our threat index. It is moderate today as there is a chance for severe storms in the eastern plains and we could see some thunder and lightning in the metro this afternoon and evening. Rio Rancho Mayor Greg Hall is sharing his passion for cooking with his community. He occasionally teaches cooking classes at local senior centers. Mayor Hall says he's taught three classes so far this year. The next class will be at Meadowlark Senior Center on October 26th. An Albuquerque teen is making a name for herself in the world of archery. At just 17 years old, Francesca Benavides began archery back in January. And by July, she had already broken a world record for a 50 meter double round while competing in Pennsylvania. This weekend, she will be traveling to Colorado to compete in their state championship for fun. Erica. All right, a check on traffic. The maps are clear, no accidents or slowdowns to report. And here's a look over the big eye. It's a busy morning out there, but no major slowdowns. Guests visiting one venue in Las Vegas will soon get to interact with lifelike robots. The creation named Aura will be permanently placed in the grand atrium of the sphere. Developers say the five robots have lifelike facial expressions and can answer complex questions. Time now for the five facts. At number five, an Albuquerque teen is making a name for herself in the world of archery. It's just 17, at just 17 years old, Francesca Benavides is already breaking records in a sport she barely started playing nine months ago. She's a senior at the Albuquerque Institute of Math and Science and is part of the National Archery in the Schools program. In January, she was already competing in the USA Archery Joad Indoor Nationals, and by July, she broke a world record for 50-meter double round while competing in Pennsylvania. This weekend, Benavides will be traveling to Colorado to compete in their state championship. At number four, one New Mexico mayor is getting involved in his community by sharing his passion for cooking with local seniors. Rio Rancho Mayor Greg Hall is sharing his hobby by teaching cooking classes at the Rio Rancho Senior Centers. Mayor Hall says he's already taught three classes this year. At number three, we'll be seeing isolated showers and storms this afternoon. A chance for that in the metro, a hit or miss storm here in, or in Santa Fe, and isolated severe storms possible across the east. And number two, as the teacher shortage continues to impact New Mexico schools, local educators are coming together to share their ideas to combat the problem. 
The Golden Apple Foundation has made it a mission to keep teachers in New Mexico schools offering scholarships to help aspiring educators get through college. The foundation is encouraging aspiring teachers to apply for a scholarship through their program. We have a link to do that at alwaysonkrqe.com. And at number one, two of the AFR firefighters accused of rape are waking up without a job this morning after the department concluded its investigation into the case. Both Angel Portillo and Aiden Heyman were fired after the department wrapped up their investigation. The third firefighter accused, Anthony Martin, retired from AFR when the allegations first arose. All three of the former firefighters are currently out with GPS monitors awaiting trial.